Yo, what up you guys, Bacardi back here, continuing my Twice series, finally. And this time we're moving on to the What is Love EP and the Summer Nights reissue. Now, as far as Twice goes, uh, last year, as far as singles go, that's the era of Twice that I'm most familiar with. You know, What is Love, Dance the Night Away, Yes or Yes, I've heard all those singles. But I haven't heard the EP of What is Love or Summer Nights. So, excited to get into that one and of course Yes or Yes which I have a little story about, but we'll get to that one when we get to Yes or Yes. As far as this one goes, yeah, definitely excited about this one. I love the song, What Is Love. I'll talk about it when I'm done listening to it again. But yeah, filming this on, let's see, what is the date today? Oh yeah, filming this on Wednesday, literally one week till the concert. Yeah, I'm ready, man. Gonna be flying out to LA in a week, and yeah, pretty much ready, you know. Got this. This came in the mail like months ago, so you know, I'm ready with this. But yeah, I'm excited, you know. I haven't looked at any set list or anything because so, I want to go in blind, basically. I don't want to be like, oh, they're playing this. I have an idea of what they're going to play, you know. They're going to play all the hits, obviously. But still, I don't want to know the set list. I want to be surprised. That's always fun to me when you go to a concert. It's just like, you know, it's like bts randomly played fire i'm just like blah i blow up you know i get hyped i want that to be the same thing i don't like knowing what song is going to come after what but enough about that i'll vlog the concert hopefully i'll vlog the concert you know uh the last concert that i went to in the forum was blackpink and they wouldn't let us film in there so hopefully that's not the case this time but yeah we'll see when we get there you know we'll see in a week but Let's get straight into this one. What is Love EP? Now, uh, the song itself, What is Love? I love that song, man. The song is so good. The music video is so good. So let's just get into that one. Okay, What is Love? The single. Let's get into this one. I love, I love this music video. Okay. This scene. <laughs> the scene explains itself, but I just want to say, Chung Yun, with this short black hair. Damn. Like, she looks just, she just looks cool, yo. Like, just cool, you know? She looks like a, like a futuristic, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but she just looks cool. And yeah, this scene. <laughs> Y'all can... I don't know. Yeah, you know. This scene. This song is so catchy, so good. I love these tributes to the films they're showing. Hollow Land was really good, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Okay. 
I remember the first time I saw this, I was like, wait, what? Because some of these movies, I'm just like, huh? Oh, snap. <laughs> and this dancing part right here. Not the end. That was just the beginning. Okay, yeah, as far as that song, love it. Love the music video. Probably in my top three twice music videos so far. And I've seen all of them so now. So, yeah, top three. Um, the song itself, like I said, super catchy. Super catchy. Just really cute, really fun, you know. It's a simple concept. Like, a girl, like, trying to figure out what is love through, like, movies and, like, mm, I don't know, like, well, movies mostly in the music video, but yeah, trying to figure out love through like uh, other forms of en entertainment. Trying to like figure out is this really how you fall in love? It's a simple concept, but still, the song is so good, it's so catchy, the video is so well directed and fun. It's just like, yeah, this is one, this was one of the best songs of last year. And when I think about the singles, it's the best out of the three they released in 2018. This one, Dance the Night Away, and Yes or Yes, this one's my favorite easily i'll just say that right now we'll get the other two out of the way not that the other two songs are bad but this one just stands out completely this one's the best one out of the three for me but enough glowing about this song because yeah i've seen it and listened to it so many times let's get on with the songs that i don't know so the first track on here is sweet talker written by i see chung yun che young nice okay let's get into this sweet talker Okay, this sounds super poppy. I always love those beat switch ups when the rap line comes in. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, this beat <laughs> kind of sounds like a video game theme. Really short, okay. I was expecting more. <laughs> okay. Okay, with that one, I decided to listen to it a second time to really, um, before I get my thoughts on it. Because the first time I listened to it, I wasn't feeling it. Nah. Second time, I kind of got it a little bit more, but still, that song, I'm just like, mm. And it's not, I think it's the beat mostly. The instrumental. It just, like, not, I just, I just don't like the instrumental, man. Uh, 
the rap line killed it. I love that part. When the beat switches up and the rap line comes in, I love that part. And everyone's vocal is really good. Um, just that instrumental. I just think that's the part that I don't like the most. First off, it sounds super like bubblegum poppy. Like a bit too much for me. And then, um, yeah, it's like this video game thing like I mentioned. It sounds like a video game soundtrack. Um, yeah. Everyone was good on that song, and like the lyrics were good. It's just that instrumental. It's just like I'm not feeling that instrumental at all. But still, I'd say mm, it's an iffy song. You know, maybe if I listen to it a few more times, I'd get into it. But yeah, just not something I'd probably listen to. So that's a skip for me. But gonna keep it moving to the next song, which is "How!" Uh, exclamation mark. Written by Geo. All right. Okay, let's get into the next song, Ho. <laughs> Just, it's a weird title. Is that a guitar in the background? What is that? I like their back and forth right there, Sana and Gia. She's killing it right now. That one, I really liked. Yeah, really liked that one. Really liked the instrumental on that one. Um, you know, I love the upbeat sound of it. Sounds like something maybe like a Bruno Mars would be on. And what stood out the most? Vocals. Vocals, vocals, vocals. Um, Mina, killing it. Gio, killing it. Jonghyun, killing it. Just like all of them were just killing it. Sana, when she was going back and forth with Gio. Nayoon, of course. They were all killing it. Like, vocally, everyone stood out. Uh, yeah. This one was definitely better than the last one. Yeah. Really like this one. This one's definitely going to stay up there. You know, I noticed this theme going on with the first three songs about love and whatnot. So I'm wondering if that stays for the next two songs. Maybe. Let's see. Next song is Deja Vu. Okay, next up, Deja Vu. Let's get into it. I don't know where this is going, but I love the beginning. Yeah, 
Everyone's really like playing off each other well here. This almost sounds like all of them are rapping. <laughs> oh, is the beat about to switch? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, what was that? That's the most different any song of theirs has been, like, as far as like a certain part. Oh. There it is. I was like, wow, okay, this is. This song. This song is unexpected to say the least. That one right there. So I was trying to say like while the song is going on, but I didn't want to talk over it. Um, this song, as far as the instrumental, this had so many like different switch ups, beat switch ups, uh, drops I wasn't expecting. Like instrumentally, musically, this is one of their most interesting songs, as far as the one I like. This one, I loved everything about it. The beat, the rapping, uh, the vocals, even the parts where it was kind of like, uh, I don't know if Momo and them were rapping, but it sounded like it kind of, you know, because they can rap, I guess. So yeah, that song, man, that song I really like, really like. That is like number two so far on this EP, uh, right after What Is Love. That song, that's what I'm going to have to listen to. Uh, a lot. <laughs> I really like that one. Really like that one. See, this is a kind of, um, you know, this is this is a song that I think people don't expect from Twice. If you don't listen to their B-sides, you wouldn't expect something like this from them. So yeah, always really good to listen to the B-sides, man. Like stuff like this, really good, really good, really different. I like that one. Okay, say yes. Let's get into this one. <gasps> ah, <laughs> I'm a sucker for these ones. You know it. Picking up the phone, yo.
Is it the first time they curse, technically? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Man, I don't know what it is about these kind of songs, but I just love them. Especially when twice sings it for some reason. Yeah, I love ending songs like that. Which, technically, it is the ending song on the album. You know, that is the last official track. But yeah, that song, you know. I'm a sucker for those kind of songs. I love those kind of songs. Uh, like I said, it's uh, especially when Twice sings it. Uh, probably because they have such good vocalists. That's why songs like those just come naturally. And uh, How do I say it? Songs like that, Twice pulls it off in this kind of uh, sweet and delicate way. Specifically because they're vocalists, I think. Now, all nine members are basically vocalists. They can all sing. So I think that's like the strength of songs like that. Everyone sings so well. And the, the instrumental, the mood of the song, it's just perfect. It's a perfect closing kind of song, you know? And that's been a theme going on. I've seen, like, you know, the past couple of EPs and albums. Great ending songs. Great ending songs. Like that. So, yeah. That's, like, been a constant theme, you know? Which I love. Which I love. Because I'm a sucker for these kind of songs. Uh, but that isn't the last song on there. Um, So the physical edition bonus one, Stuck. Let's get into that one. Okay, Stuck. Let's get into this one. Her vocal sounded a little weird at the end right there. Is that like a vocal effect? Okay, uh, I know I paused it, but that last part, where they're all like going back and forth, that was just... Let me go back. I'm actually going to listen to that one more time. Where does it start? I think it starts like somewhere here. Now it's after the chorus. And I love the beat switch up here, just for a little bit too. All of them just like Yeah, 
Okay, that one. Uh, I like that one. I like that one. It's pretty good. Um, like I said, that middle portion where they're all like going one after another. It's just like that part, man. It's just like so good, you know. It's like I know they're all vocalists and they're all basically rappers. So seeing them just play like both roles and kind of just like do this like sort of like back and forth. Like I've seen it a few times now throughout the albums. It's just like. The way they can like uh, play off each other, you know, just go from one member to the other. One could be singing, one could be rapping, but the way they just go from like one member to the other, something about that just like it's really good. It's seamless, you know, and like there's nine members, so it's so hard to have like uh, chemistry in that way in a song, because you know, I mentioned this before, but like uh, certain members might not get a lot of time or whatever, but. The way they can like pull it off, it's just like it's something really good. It's like one of their special traits, I think. They've kind of like I mean I mean I'm on like what? I mean at this point they've kinda of like started to like just master it, you know, just like playing off each other. It's really good. It's something special, you know, something uh, a group like this needs. But yeah. Uh as far as that song, like I said, good. I would definitely <laughs> put this one instead of Sweet Talker. But that's just me. I don't know. Maybe Sweet Talker can grow on me. Who knows? I guess this is it for the What is Love part. So now we're moving on to Summer Nights. So, yeah. Now, of course, I've heard uh, Dance the Night Away. I've heard all their singles. So let's just get straight into that one. Okay, Dance the Night Away. It's been a while since I've seen the music video. So this is going to be like a good refresher. Let's get into it. But yeah, that song, really catchy, really fun, you know. It, t it took me a while. The first time I listened to it, I wasn't into it. I was just kind of like, mm, it's a bit too upbeat for me. But then, you know, you just have to listen to a song a couple of times and be like, oh, I get it. I get it. This is like a fun song. This is going to be one of the fun ones in the concert that they're going to have. So, yeah, really like this one. Really up-tempo. This is, like I said, a perfect summer song. Now, uh, what would be next? Chillax. Okay, chillax. Okay. Okay, chillax. Let's get into this one. Keeping up with the upbeat theme. Definitely keeping up with the summer theme. Oh, I knew they were coming in right there. Let's go, Momo. Those high notes. I like that. Tomorrow's work, do it tomorrow. That's what's up. Wait, I, I missed who that was. Who was that?
sounds really good right there. Yeah, I like that one. Keeping up with the summer theme, like I said. Um, yeah, nice upbeat song, definitely. But yeah, keeping up with the theme here. Dance the night away, chillax, to work tomorrow. Yeah, keeping up like the summer theme here. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, I like Dance the Night Away more because like these two songs are pretty similar. That's one where it's like okay, but not a standout because you know Dance the Night Away is just like a better song to me. Uh, but yeah, still good. I like that one. And like I said, was that Momo rapping? That was Momo, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah, her part. Yeah, I really like Momo in this song. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, final one, Shot Through the Heart. Now I'm looking up the lyrics written by Momo, Sana, and Mina. The Japanese line. Okay, let's see what this is about. I'm curious on this one. Okay, the last song as far as uh, Summer Nights and What is Love. Shot Through the Heart. Let's get into it. I wasn't expecting this for some reason. I think Mina is like definitely stealing this song right now. Definitely standing out. Okay, that one. Um, it was okay. It was okay. Definitely cutesy. Definitely cutesy. That's the vibe that I got. Really cute. Uh, really sweet sounding. Uh, but maybe not my, uh, not one that's going to stand out as far as this EP goes, but still okay. Not bad. Not bad. So, yeah, that's all the songs for, uh, Summer Nights and What Is Love. So, I guess I'll do top three. Number one, definitely. What Is Love. That is easily number one. Uh, number two, that's kind of, uh, I was going to say it's hard, but it's kind of not. Number two, Deja Vu, definitely. And then number three, uh, uh, it's a tie. It's a tie. They're two very different songs, but I love both of them. Say Yes and Dance the Night Away. They're tied for number three. But yeah, those are top three songs. Uh, but yeah. This EP, uh, I'm not sure where to put it uh, so far. You know, what, once I'm done with all these uh, album reactions, I'll probably do like a end video where I'll just like rank them in order of what I like. So yeah, I'll probably save it for that. But yeah, a really good EP, especially considering the Summer Nights one. You know, because one, it has more songs. Two, it lives up to its name of the Summer Nights theme. So yeah, we're almost done with this. We're almost done with this journey. Uh, next up is Yes or Yes, which is the last one because I've already listened to uh, Fancy You. You can go and watch that. It's up in my video somewhere. But yeah, Yes or Yes is next. Now, that one. I'll talk about it when we get to it, but I do want to tease you guys a little bit. Woo! This isn't something new. This is something that I had for a long time now. And I'll talk about this and the album itself when we get there when I upload that video. Keeping you guys in suspense a little bit, you know? Teasing you a little bit. So yeah, we're winding down. We're winding down, you know? We're almost done with these album reactions. So uh, next thing I wanna do is actually get to know the members a little bit more. And we could do crack videos, those are always fun, you know? But the first one I'm gonna do is one that you guys recommended. I've seen it pop up a few times, and that's an introduction to Twice by Cody and Wyatt from Gay Pop. Now, I've watched their videos before, so this will be my first time reacting to them on camera. 
which is always a little weird. It's a little weird to react to another reactor. I don't know. That's something I haven't done before. But I'm curious to see their videos. They always make good stuff. So I'm going to do that one first for sure. And then we'll get into some cracks videos, you know, for fun and whatnot. And yeah, maybe like introduction videos or just videos of the members and certain habits or whatever. Fun stuff. I want to get to more of the fun stuff, you know. That's always good. But yeah, almost done. Almost done. Got one more album to go and then yeah, yeah we'll have more fun with like crack videos and whatnot. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you guys want. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Twice Reaction. So peace, love, have a blessed day. Bye.